face. Ah, shut up, kid. It adds flavor to it. You want to give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <She's gross. laughs> So good now. Great. Another shot. Why is this stuff lying around everywhere? That's the first good thing I've seen since I got out of bed. Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month! Another good deed done. I need more growth hormone. Oh! I really, really, really need some... Ah, uh, here we are again. Please get out your sketchbooks.
very pleasing work to me. All right, you feckless maggots. We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while. Ah, dodgeball. How I love the sound of boys crying in the morning. Much like real life, the strongest will prevail. All right, you lazy bums, look alive! Good! Hopkins, you're with the wimps. I want everyone to give their best, boys, their best! Yo, pretty dumb, what, what about loser? Victoria? Me! Let's oh, try not to lose this podcast! What now? You need laser surgery, loser. I'm not afraid of you, loser brain! of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Mm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, Upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. You've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, and you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. Okay, you win. Thank you. This might be useful.
I suppose you want to train again? Good to see you haven't forgotten me. This was my favorite combination. <laughs> You got some real promise, Jimmy. I'll slit your damn throat! Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. Hopkins comes through. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well... I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet. But nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Wonder why no one picked this up. I tell you, he's a drunk. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. We won't get away with it this time. I hope you're wrong. I feel trapped here. I blow. I just don't understand the minds of troublemakers. I see you there. You're so... Don't think I'll let you get away with anything. I order you to wait. I hear something that concerns me. I cannot waste any more time with you. Ah, that's better. they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Ms. Please, take this. Nice of you. Hey, Jimmy. You smell real um... good. <laughs> Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hattrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. 
If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. It makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. OK, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. Something's very suspicious here. Oh! You're out of bounds. Hey, what? you're not supposed to be there. I did, and I didn't read it much. Much obliged. Mm. <laughs> I hope it gets easier. That's how it's.